the the UFC event last night, UFC 285. Yes, yes, yes. UFC 285, 285. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna keep it all the way real. I am a UFC casual, right? I, right? I'm a UFC casual. I don't I don't die hard UFC, but of course, John Jones, you know, like I, I John Jones, like one of the staples of UFC, right? I feel mm -hmm. like he really put UFC on, on a level and then like Conor McGregor like shot it out the sky, right? So like those those guys really put you know the cheeks in seats. Right. But you know, like dying to see John Jones come back. You know, I've seen a lot of his fights actually. I just think I do think he's a really, really good fighter, just well rounded, right? So I know, you know, he was fighting Cyril Gain. So and you know, Cyril Gain put up a, a valiant effort against Francis and Dongo. I think it went, if I'm not mistaken, it went all five. Francis yeah, and Dongo, I think were won by unanimous decision. There were all five rounds and there's a unanimous decision on Francis but, way. But it was a competitive fight. Yeah, it was a competitive fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so um I can't I, I can't lie. I kind of struggled through I struggled through the I guess what would you call that? Before the main card started, there was like a preliminary like a preliminary card, the pre card, yeah, whatever you struggled, call it. Yeah, and the the actual the actual card started, and I do want to just really kind of stick to John Jones and Cyril Game, but I had to like um, shout out uh, what was their name? It was Alexa Grasso and Valentina like Sh Sh Shvenko Shvenko. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that fight was really entertaining. I thought it was a, it was a good co-main. Um, even the way it, the way it ended with the rare naked choke, choke. Off, she tried yep. to throw like this the spin elbow and she oh. caught her in the rare naked choke. Oh. Um, so I definitely want to shout them out. Um, I I think they said like Valentina they considered her like the greatest of all time in her weight class. Right. Um, so you know for Alexa to pull that one off, I thought that was that was great, and then that really got me hyped. You know, after that one, I'm like, oh, bring out John Jones. Jones. You know? Yeah, yeah. So and, and it's funny like going into the segment of just John Jones just. Leading up to that fight, you know, and I, and we talked, we talked about this in general, even beforehand, like, you know, where did you see the fight going? Did yeah. you, you know, stop yeah, it I, long distance? We could, we could tell them what our, what our thoughts were as well. How, how did you think the fight would turn out? I, I initially thought the fight was going to, John Jones was going to stop him in three. Yeah. In the third round. Um, I wouldn't have been surprised if it went the distance only because there are question marks surrounding John Jones haven't fought since 2020, right? That's right. a factor, right? He's moving up a weight class. Yeah. That's another factor, right? And with Surreal, it was more so like we've seen him in action with Francis, mm -hmm. right? Especially we know that Surreal is agile, you know, and, and not to mispronounce his name because I was calling him Serial earlier. <laughs> Like he, he's agile um, uh, for his size. He's able to strike. He's able to, you know, so I was kind of like, and we know John Jones is known for his striking ability, but he can kind of do a, a variety of everything, right? He knows yeah. how to use his legs, his kicks, especially the infamous, you know, kicking of the knee, you know, knows how to get his opponents down, you know. So he, he's he's well-versed in just everything, right? He can do a yeah. to the thing. So it was just those two things was a question mark, right? The layoff. And then of course the size was really to see exactly where John Jones was at. Right. But he kind of, I would probably say he surpassed everyone's expectation in terms of getting the job done in the yeah. fashion. He got it done. Right. Yeah. And, and I think I'll go more into that in detail, but I, I, I kind of want to give you the floor to kind of tell me what your thoughts were. Right. So, you know, viewers know your thoughts before the fight. Where you see that going? I thought it was going the distance. I had John Jones winning, but I thought he would, you know, win. I, I wasn't sure you, I, I I probably thought unanimous. I know I didn't speak it, but I definitely had him winning by decision. But, man, I, I couldn't even believe the what the way it played out. Do you, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't even know, like, what's, what would be worse, you know, because John Jones was very adamant and outspoken to anybody who would listen. I'm going to dominate this guy, yeah. right? But by that, yeah. I think it as you know, John Jones, one of the best strikers. So I'm thinking, you know, the, the standing game, he's going to like, you know, boom, be picking them off, picking them off. But then I expected a takedown. So I don't know what would be worse to get dominated over five rounds or to lose a match in two and a half minutes. Do you know? You, so for John Jones to end the fight in two and a half minutes by a submission, I, I, yeah. I, 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 did, I didn't see that coming. I did not see that. Coming. Yeah. It, it, it. Honestly, it, it was really crazy, too, because when you watch that fight, especially um, in particular, what was kind of unique or not even unique, but John Jones just proves, again, why he's so intelligent, because I felt like just watching the fight 
And once he submitted him just two minutes in the first round, I felt like John Jones took that approach because he factored in how long he was away from the sport. Yeah. And then also I felt like in his mind, he was a little worried about going the distance with Cyril, right? I can so see he that. felt as though he couldn't really like stand up and exchange blows with him for too long, especially if he can go blow to blow or even evade Francis as long as he did in mm -hmm. his fight. So he felt like that would have probably taxed him a bit more. And he felt like, okay, let me test the waters and really get him down to the ground. Let me just submit him, right? Especially a fight of that caliber, mm -hmm. right? Especially someone that moves a lot, strikes a lot, you know? So, you know, and granted, I'm a casual as well, but, I, you know, I, I've seen enough, you know, right. UFC fights where, you know, you can kind of tell some people's tactics just based off their history and yeah. who they're fighting in a way. So, like, I was like, oh, that was impressive. Now, I'm not sure if that's how it played out in John Jones's head, but I felt like that, you know, knowing just his pedigree, I would think that's how kind of like he he, he kind of that kind of played a role in his yeah. division to kind of get him down and make him tap out, you know. And even yeah. you see Sorrell, he was shocked. He was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, and you know, then he was shocked. Before I saw the replay, I couldn't believe it. I was like, everything ran through my mind. I'm like, is this is this fixed? Is this staged? Are they just doing something to put John Jones? You know, and then, but when you saw the replay and you saw the, the placement and the position of the hand and the way he had him choked out, and then, so he had, and the way he had his neck tilted under and then pressing all that weight down. I think John Jones came in around 250 pounds, you know? So all that weight on top of his neck, I think it was just, I, I don't think he was going to get out of that. He would have to yeah. literally stay conscious for two and a half minutes. Absolutely. I don't, I don't I don't think he was gonna get out of that. Um but I I know John Jones is excellent on the takedown. Even when he took him down, he was so poised until you know to even get in position to submit him that way. Um, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I, it, it, it was very, very, very impressive. Um I know you know, I guess they're gonna build up the fight now with Stipe Miocic. I know Stipe Miocic, um I, I think he beat Francis and Dongo actually. Um, but I, that's yeah. neither here nor there, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not apples to apples you know um fight fighting is different styles make fights but i don't i don't really see stipe being able to beat john jones either yeah i i, I don't see him beating him and then like he had beat francis also what back in 20 because i was looking this up um he beat him back in 27 i think 2018 yeah, I beat him back in 2018. This is before yeah. Francis started going in that rampage. Right. And he started right. dominating everything. And then Francis, they had a rematch, and Francis stopped him. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So he stopped him. Um, and I think he stopped him in two. So um, he stopped him, got him out of there. So he's definitely not John Jones is gonna, I think, wipe him out. Um yeah, especially. Yeah. And, and I and I have to ask, I know, um, I know this is uh USC 2 uh, 85. I know this is John Jones moment with Sorrell, but what are your thoughts on a like if Francis was to fight John Jones in in yesterday's event? How did you see that fight going? So I I would have leaned towards John Jones as well, but I mean I I couldn't have seen it ending in two and a half minutes, right? But obviously I didn't even see this one ending that way. So anything's possible when it comes to fighting. Right. Um, I I I do think it would have been more of a chess match, especially with the standing and the striking. Um, but I, I would have leaned towards John Jones. And once again, I, I would have said going the distance because it's really two, two really tough guys, right? Yeah. Two really tough guys. But I would I would have lead to John kind of like, you know, striking from the outside, you know, kind of like getting, kind of picking him off, picking him off. Um, I could see, you know, maybe a takedown here or there on both sides. But I, I think it would have come come to like a halt on the ground and then you know they were kind of like reset but i could have seen john jones beating him in a, in, a, in a probably a decision um i honestly i'm often i don't think anybody could beat john jones until i see it you know what i'm saying just mm -hmm. everything i've seen from him like and like i said even though i'm a casual i have kind of been casually following it for a while i remember like when i used to like chuck liddell like the ice man yeah but just from everyone i've seen i've, I've never really seen anyone that i think can defeat John Jones. I would lean towards John Jones in that one as well. Yeah. I would say um I am somewhat after this yesterday's performance, I'm somewhat leaning towards John Jones. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's just so hard just because Francis is just so his style is just so unpredictable. He's really strong, right? Like, yeah. And he's a person that like you can kind of like 
to be him, you kind of got to be him at his own game or outpoint him, right? Like, and kind of go the distance with him in a way, right? You kind of yeah. gotta, you know. And I think that probably if he if France, I think France is going into a fight with with John Jones yesterday. Francis would have had had the advantage, yeah, right? because he he was he's the more active fighter. He was on a streak. You know what I mean? And he kind of was like, I don't think he gets submitted like that. Compared right, to right. Drill, right? I, I think he would have been able, he's a much stronger guy, right? So yeah. not saying he could get taken down, but just to that degree. And I think also John Jones would have probably been more worried about his um, punching power as well. Yeah, like, yeah. His, John Jones um, referred to him as a titan, you know, like right. physical build, you know? You know, so John Jones would have probably been more tactical. And I don't know if John Jones would have had enough of the stamina endurance to kind of keep the fight going for for a round especially having three years off and putting on that weight yeah that's yeah. what would have you know but like i said before we didn't I, I couldn't have predicted the fight ending that soon yesterday as well i knew he was going i felt like he was going to stop him but not that early you know so yeah um, and that's how i kind of seen it i so, think i think he's going to look even better in his next fight because i yes um i don't know how much not off the top of my head but i think steep a is a bit lighter than cyril gain so I think John Jones is gonna cut some of that weight. I think he he think that he needed some of that that bulk just to like compete physically. You know what I'm saying? I think Steve yeah. is a bit like light, lighter, and I and I, I think John Jones is gonna cut a little bit of weight. Obviously, he's not gonna go back to his light heavyweight days because this is a new division. But I think mm -hmm. we're gonna see him look a little bit closer to what we know of John Jones of the past. He might be a little bit more nimble, a little swifter. Obviously, we're probably gonna see more um more of him, but. I can't wait to see more of John Jones. That's the truth. I hope they can make the Francis thing happen. I know he was looking into a crossover with Deontay Wilder. I'm not really interested in seeing that. Um, the, but I guess, you know, crossovers where the revenue is at, like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if we see, like, a John Jones. Well, John Jones takes it serious. I don't know. But I, I was going to say maybe, like, a John Jones getting called out by, like, a Jake Paul or something. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I don't know. But I, I can't wait to see John back in there. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, me, me too. Me too. Um, and, and I do, I do have a one final question. Um, just to kind yeah. of, as we wrap up the UFC or the John Jones um versus Terrell uh topic. Uh, specifically, this question is geared towards John Jones specifically. Where do you, for the viewers, where do you rank John Jones before this fight and after this fight? <laughs> so it's, it's funny because. I think even though he's in the same position for me, to before the fight he was the best. After the fight he was the best, but I I I I still think even though like he's already at number one, you can't go to like number one or you know what I'm saying. But I do think the the the, the performance was so impressive that he just climbed further and like created more distance between whoever the next guy may be. Okay, so so he further cemented it for you. And, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 For me, mine's is more so a hot take. Uh, um, I think before the fight, um, you know this, but just for the viewers, I didn't consider John Jones the GOAT or number one. Um, I probably had him number two behind GSP. Okay. Um, okay. You know, um, and then, and, and I would say actually probably number three, arguably, but after this fight, I probably now cement him as like number two. And of course my reasoning is definitely because of the, the, the drug, allegations in the past right mm -hmm. I, I i feel like that blemishes his his record to a degree i respect you that. know um whereas i feel like gsp kind of like dominated in a time where it was just like he never got caught you know with with, with any uh pds and then more importantly like he was fighting even when he had like i think irritable bowel disease at one point too and then yeah. some of the fighters he lost to he came back and dominated mm -hmm. you know what i mean climbed his way back up to the top so um, that's my take. I know some people would probably disagree with me. Yeah. But, um, for me, regardless, though, I do agree that he's on Mount Rushmore, even with the blemish, just because his talent yeah. is undeniable. You yeah. know what I mean? And so, who, who, I know you said he may have went to number two. Who who else would have been in in that three with you? Is it Khabib? Oh, or so? Because I, I know you said maybe GSP potentially number one. You said John Jones may have been number two, or he may have elevated from three to two. So yeah. So I, I, who else would have been the third? Is it Khabib or or, or somebody else? I, I I always kind of like flipped with Khabib, right? Like I had Khabib, but I ended up kind of changing my mind. So like realistically, I had John Jones too. Okay. Before this fight and after. But however, I did debate it at times between John Jones and Khabib because 
One is really the drug, the blemish is just so like, oh my God, like, yeah, yeah. You're as talented, but like, if you're getting caught, you know, if you failed four drug tests in your whole career, right? One of them, I don't really count because it was cocaine, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably count two because I think with the three, one of them was the same substance that kind of like rolled over to another uh, drug screening, right? So okay. I'm like, if you're getting caught in these short windows, what were you doing for the full duration of your career, right? Mm -hmm. But that's just speculation. So I can't really do that. I got to go just solely based off of what you got caught with and when. Gotcha. So like, but then I kind of had to catch myself because I'm solely putting Khabib up there because he was undefeated. You get what I mean? And then if you look at Khabib's record, right, the type of opponents Khabib was beating early on, I felt like John Jones had a better resume, especially even now, right? Yeah. Um, Khabib did, of course, his, undoubtedly his best win was against Conor McGregor. Right? Dominating, he had a few yeah. good wins before that, right? But I just felt like I would I had to catch myself because I was really looking at the the O record as opposed to the what they've done for the sport that mm -hmm. makes you you know on that right. route, Mount Rushmore, which right. Khabib has done a lot. But I feel like I I kind of went back and forth at a time in my head between Khabib and John Jones. But I kind of always told myself, Nah, John Jones is probably number two. But that was probably the only person that I probably may have debated that second spot with john jones prior okay 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 yeah definitely and, and for the viewers out there you know if you have your opinion share it in the comments let us know who you think your mount rushmore is for ufc um definitely in interested to hear that one